Good evening, everybody. If you would please begin turning to Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to spend most of our time in there. Ephesians chapter 6. So uh, thank you all for joining us tonight for our singing service. Um, Thank you, Todd, for picking out very appropriate songs for the topic. So I will be brief as usual. The first two verses that were read for us earlier illustrate battles where God's people through faith were victorious. That happened often in the Old Testament, battles being held on the instruction of God. Joshua says the walls of Jericho were brought down by following God's instructions. In 1 Samuel, David slaying Goliath with his faith and a small stone. But the last verse outlines what God has planned for his kingdom. War between nations was not God's vision. I'm going to read the passage again in Ephesians chapter 6, beginning in verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of the wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having gone all having done all to stand physical battles are not not how Christians fight sin now in Todd's sermon this morning he explored Micah chapter 4 i thought it was very appropriate one of the verses that he shared it fit perfectly into what we're talking about tonight verse 3 in chapter 4 of Micah reads he shall judge between many peoples and rebuke strong nations afar off. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. So as Christians, we don't face large city walls, we don't face Goliaths in battle, but we do have an enemy, a cunning and much less obvious enemy. The temptation of Satan does not line up in a row in front of us on a large battlefield. We cannot cut envy with a sword or protect our minds from false teachings with a bronze helmet. Impure thoughts will not bounce off of a metal breastplate. So how do we protect ourselves from the evils of this world? I'm going to continue reading in Ephesians chapter 6 in verse 14. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end in all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. This is the armory of God. But like any soldier, there is work to be done. Are you preparing? Are you training with your sword and shield? Have you donned yourself with the full armor of God? If you are ready to join God's army, then the waters have been left prepared for you. If you have already made that commitment, but need to renew yourself and renew your faith, then we can pray with you and pray for you. If there's anything we can do, please come as we stand and sing. 